What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. That's Mike. I'm Chris. We're going back to the Badlands once again. Yes, we are. Or did we yes, ever we leave? Are. I don't know. Well, episode three, right? We're right on that now. Leopards. Leopard what? snares, snares rabbit. rabbit. Now I can get this one. <laughs> the leopard is Moon, and the rabbit is obviously Tilda. So we definitely yeah. get this one. Uh, Mikey, what did you? Uh, what did you think about this app? Another good? Uh, another great episode and uh, another. Another uh, great fight to start off the episode, right? Yeah, I all right. I will say as we as we go along here, I will say I had I had a couple little sticking points, uh, yeah. where I'm telling you, man, the Walking Dead season eight really really messed with me because now I look at those these things and I'll tell you about it in one second, but I look at them and I go, oh no, really no. What I'm talking about is in this fight, right? Mm. Odessa and Tilda are talking and they get the runner comes in and she's like, we've got a message, and then she gets an arrow through the throat, and the very <laughs> next thing that the two girls do run outside and i was like oh come on can we not and they're immediately surrounded obviously and i was like Mm -hmm. i was like it's that it's that stuff that really bothers me like that's just like you're you're very you've been you've been able to you know get they're 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 confident women and they're they're that's do you agree that that, that that's dumb though it's it's funny it's funny um but you know tilda took care of business right away with the try so dry blade. dry blade the cull uh, the cull blade yeah. whatever you know yeah. what i mean i don't know what to call that thing it yeah, took care of business crawl, crawl, you know crawl, right crawl. away yeah i don't I, I mean i don't fucking know but the thing is um yeah so so it was uh, it was yeah so obviously moon pops in and uh dude very long fight there's a very prolonged chasing i didn't expect yeah. it to last that long that was all before the intro too before mm-hmm. the title screen i was like dang yeah i loved how I loved how Moon started off just defending. Well, that's his thing. Hand. That's his thing. Right? Yeah. Oh, he, dude, that was friggin' that yeah, was badass. That's uh, that's his fighting style as of now. <laughs> yeah. like, that's how he starts off. He's very so. What's cool about Moon, um, aside from his his hand, we'll talk about that in a second. But yeah. what's cool about his fighting style and in, in his demeanor and the way he fights is, I feel like it's different than when we first saw him. Right. I feel like when we first saw him, he didn't have any more purpose. Like he he didn't really have much purpose when we first met him. He he was just he was living as an outcast. He was whatever. I mean, yes, he killed some dudes and stuff, but now he's got a different purpose. He's got a new weapon. He's got this whole thing, and he's just very, I don't want to say cocky, but he's assured. Like yeah. he's he knows his he knows his skills. He knows. I I feel like I wrote down in my notes. I was like he definitely toyed with Tilda the whole time. Because I feel like if he wanted to, he could have just decimated her. I mean, I agree with that too. It's you know what? It's he's added so many points, you know, to his fighting advantage, his his style, his power with that just that hand alone, and and the sword extending from his palm. And oh, dude, we've right? got well, well, right before <laughs> that, he hits it with the fist. So, <laughs> I mean, whether it whether it's I. I I mean, to me, so I'm sitting here going, this thing is dope because it's like, yeah. it not only did we see it has, it opens up and it's got blades or it can shoot, it could shoot darts. But when he hit her at one point, she goes flying back and it was a fist. The damn thing was a fist. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then, and then later on the sword <laughs> pops out and it's like, now Mike, I'm going to tell you, I love yeah. that shit. I love, I love when you too, when you have the, when you have a tool or a weapon and you don't know what it does and they never explain it. It just does things. Right. I don't know why I love that shit. That's very anime to me. It's like they just. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's like the thing can do anything, and I love that shit. So yeah, it's a bit. It's a big advantage for him. That you was know? pretty cool. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about the fact that she um, she turned tail, man? She they they got her, and then of course you know of course Odessa stepped in and was like you know basically take me and leave her and that's what happened you know yeah i I mean it it shows it shows their their relationship bond and how much you know odessa obviously cares about her and and it's and it's cool just to to see a little bit more uh from odessa you know and her fighting kind of she still kind of annoys me a little bit i think i'm not gonna lie she's a bit annoying it was also cool too when when uh when tilda first saw the the widow's people and the one she knew the one girl you know what i mean oh yeah the one yeah Uh, yeah but um, yo, know, great fight. You that was know, sick. That was, was that was really fun. That was yeah. a fun fight. Yeah, I like that. Um, going back to Moon for a second, I like that mm-hmm. he's fighting pretty much everybody. <laughs> he's just he's just fighting everybody. He's right. like, let's just have him fight everybody. I love that stuff. Plus, I also like the fact that he's on this. I mean, I guess it's a region's job, and Sonny kind of did the same thing in season one. Yeah, but 
I like how they're like the they're like the the you know the Sherlock Holmes. They got to be these inspectors. You know, like they got to they they're the de- I'm not the inspector. Well, I guess the same thing, detective inspector. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. they have to be detectives, so they have to go out later in the episode. You know, the widow says, "Find out who this is." You know what I mean? And and right. obviously we he knows who it is, and we'll get to that in a minute. But um, yeah. I mean, unless you want to head over there, is that a good segue? Yeah, that's a that, yeah, that's a perfect Great I was segue. Just say. Head over to the widow's place. Let's come on, everybody. Let's head over down to the widow's place. We'll see what's going on there. That's, right. that's right. We see uh, the the um, Lydia was a was a was a big piece of so she, of, of the widow. So she and, she she agrees to be her vice for Why is my microphone directly in front of my mouth? That's so weird. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, just that she's playing both sides. You know what I mean? We know where the message came from. We know who gave the widow the information to find the iron rabbit in the first place. So uh, you know, it's a give and take and it's even interesting when when uh, Tilda uh, you know arrives at the sanctuary. And and confronts Lydia about called? all that kind of stuff. Yeah, they call it the sanctuary. Huh. I, mean, I must um, have missed that. Yeah, that's the thing we got to see. So now we know what Lydia's plan is. You know, mm-hmm. so she she talks to Moon. Dude, I gotta say, I love the interactions between mm. Moon and Lydia. And now we do know that it was a romantic thing. Yeah, between yeah. them. Um, but I really love their interactions. I really like it. Like she, you could tell she still kind of has feelings for him. And of course, he's just like, come on, you know. He's smitten, and it's cool. I mean, listen, he burns. He burns the that's dangerous. Um, Dang- she even says it. It's dangerous. She's like those feelings. He's like, why can't we? He's, she's like, those feelings are dangerous. Yeah, and I'll get that, you but- into trouble. She's smart because she shows um, when, with her and and Tilda going back and forth. They're talking about, um, you know, I was I was just like you, Lydia, saying when I was oh, young, yeah. and just the vengeance and um, how as she's grown older, she knows what to do and and how to survive, you know, yeah. the following days uh, ahead, you know. Well, I want to say, I, 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 so I thought of a point for this. I really like the fact that, let's take Tilda and Lydia, Tilda even in The Widow. So mm. you ha- they're taking, like, the next generation. So so we come into this story, and, and these, these adults, let's call the adults, right? Mm-hmm. Lydia, uh, Sonny, Tilda. I'm not. I'm, uh, Lydia, Sonny, the widow, widow, Moon. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, Quinn, like they were all. Those were the adults, and they already. We walked into their story, and towards the end of some of their stories, right? And so we're in the middle of of those of those stories. But then you have the next generation. You've got MK. You've got Tilda. You've got Odessa. You know, and and oh, I include Beji and the old guys too. Old, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I really enjoy like like these younger people now and they and, and Sonny even talks about it to Beji. He's like, These are all kids. You know, the the, the men that fighting was, the war. You know, like, these are yeah. kids and, and obviously some of them are not gonna see live, but my whole point is this younger generation is what's gonna shape the Badlands in coming seasons. And you know, I just like that. I like the fact that Tilda's on her own. I like the fact that MK now has his power back and now he's with Tilda again and it's like these are the people that are going to be shaping, you know, and, and, and obviously you have, you know, on the other side with Pilgrim, Caster and, and I was going to say Pollux, but uh, <laughs> Nick, yeah. who knows how long they're going to live, but still, these are the people that are shaping the Badlands right now. Anyway, I just yeah. like that. My, sorry for the long winded thing, well, but no, no, having no, the younger it, generation it, it, is really cool. It's, it's also because a lot of the younger characters on the show are the strongest because like you said, Caster, Nix, they have the gift. MK has the gift. Um, they pretty much can take out everybody. I mean, really. But they're all still yeah. tools. That's the problem. They're being used yeah. by people who know how to wield the power. And yeah. and that's what's interesting. And like mm-hmm. this show, what's it? What's cool is that this show, you could watch this show and just be like, you could not pay attention to anything and just be like, oh, cool fight scene. Like there's yeah. literally enough action in this show to go from fight scene, fight scene to fight scene. But you know, if you're like is us, it, there's, there's a great story behind you. Pay it too. attention to what's going on, and you mm-hmm. give it, give it a little thought, and you're like, this is a yeah. really cool, interesting thing. And, and and you know, you and I are into comic books, and like, this is a comic book story. This is what happens. This is how it goes. You know. So yeah. anyway, yeah. So that was pretty cool. Moon and Lydia. That's cool. You know, um, Lydia, man, definitely playing that 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 long game, and it's yep. dangerous. She's like, you, you, but you told her where we were. She's like, yeah, but I also warned you. And like, yeah. what's you know. So yeah. I don't know. I think I think it's crazy. So, um, you know, now heading over to the, the widow side, the, this show, like, 
I, I feel like they go for broke. Like they shove that shit down MK's throat and they're yeah. for, force feeding him. And then, and that's what makes him come back. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. <laughs> and he, he, and so the whole, He's, he seemed to control it too. Right. For a second. Well, now he's still, well, now he's talking in it. Yeah. Like before you know I think I mean? he wasn't talking when he was he in it. He wasn't. Yeah. So I wonder if, even though he might not have been using the power since he technically lost it or it was, um, it was hidden within him somewhere. Maybe it evolved to that point to get to that caster Nick's kind of control because listen, he was going to, he, he kicked the he, shit out of he the He forced it back in. That's the thing before it only happened when he didn't really want to. Right. But yeah. now he, I he think had now get, he, he had can to get control cut. it. You're right. He I had think to get cut. I think now he can control it. Or yeah. I mean, and even he, they he, have to. He recognized Tilda. I mean, we saw that in the past. We saw that in the, in the early seasons because they kind of have this bond where she kind of because didn't they fight at one point or they were going to fight and she kind of like yeah it's stopped him like... or something. But anyway, anyway, it it just shows that like wow he was able to shut it right down. He recognized who Tilda was and, and there you go. He leaves, um, with Odessa and, and, uh, and, and Tilda. Do you think, you know I mean? do you think that he's going to be able to control it without cutting himself? Because don't forget Nixon Castle still have to cut themselves. So do you, do you think that that did could they, be something they did? They, they, still they, had to they cut have themselves? the marks at the marks. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's so yeah, right. they, they cut themselves and then they have to do it. But, mm-hmm. Maybe but that'll make him. Do you think? Th- I think that'd that, be cool. That level higher. That'd be cool if all of a sudden yeah. he can control it like that. Because wait, because didn't the Abbots? They were able to control it. Remember, they had Without that control. Getting, yeah, that's they didn't true. cut themselves. They just turned no, it on and off. And the that's master, true. remember the master? Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, the, the widow was just. Uh, before we get to, the, to the, that little fight, I just want to say how she brings Odessa in, and Tilda's sitting here going. All right, look, I think I can probably deal with that, what she said. Mm-hmm. She's like, you can come in. You can fight for me however you want. But, you know, MK more or less saved the day at that point because that, now, all bets that, were off. Yeah, all, all bets, bets are, are off, off now. Know? Exactly. Oh, I guess exactly. MK's fine. No, no, screw you. I'm out. We're out. Yeah. So yeah, Now, where she, are they off to? Dude, you the Widow I mean? couldn't do anything. The Widow was just like, all oh, right, just go. Like, there's nothing. There was nothing she could have done to stop them. No. I mean, she he, he legitimately gave her... You know, a body bag. You know? <laughs> body bag. <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah. interesting to see where they're gonna where they're heading off to now. Yep. I'm also I was also thinking now in the in the before MK came out and the, the little negotiating was going on with Tilda and the widow, she said, Listen, you know, you just just I'll give you Odessa, just keep stay away from my convoys. Kind of like stay out of my business, don't stop me from doing what I have to do, kind right. of a thing. I wonder if that's, that's gonna, the only I reason if, why they're doing what they do. Right. Well, I wonder if that's going to um, come into play. If if Tilda will technically stand by her word before she kind of got rescued. I don't think so. I think I think all bets are off now. That's it. Yeah. Right. I think all bets are off. You know, not for nothing. Real quick, we still haven't seen Chow yet. We haven't. We've seen a lot of dead Chows, but <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. We haven't. We she's she's got to be in hiding somewhere. So, well, I don't necessarily no, think she'd no, be in she's hiding. hiding. She's they're, badass. They're they're she's got one portion in, of the Badlands, and and they're 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 still fighting. So that's speaking true. Speaking of which, let's head over to the alley. Let's yeah. head over to the choking point. Sunny and Beijing make it to the thing. Weird weird thing. Weird little uh thing. Um. So Sonny, they they steal a supply truck, Sonny and Beji, and they roll up, and the and the new captain, this young kid, yeah. is like, "Oh, we've been waiting for you." And so I'm like, "Wait, what?" Like, and then and then the next scene, he was like, "Oh, the supply truck made it." So we wait. And I was like, "Oh, so they just assumed these were the supply truck guys?" But at first, yeah. I'm like, I wrote the whole thing down. Like, wait, what? How the hell did he did he? Like it was a little, I don't know, it was a little disconnect for me, and I was like, all right, well, I mean, it got there in the end, but I was like, that's yeah. a little weird. Um, yeah. So a lot of stuff. What do you want to do? You want to talk about Sunny in the alley? Yeah, let's just start off with How you know just making, was. yeah, making it through and all right, and, g- g- um, give give it to me. Give me the one big piece of the puzzle right now that we found. The big out. piece of the puzzle was there's a couple because we we talked about this obviously, but. After uh, after their initial attempt and the one girl Ren got shot with the arrows in the leg. Sonny breaks off the the door of a New York City taxi, taxi. and I that stuck out like a sore thumb. That's obviously like, done on purpose. That was a stencil prop. Absolutely, they wrote it on purpose. So, so does that mean that 
Yes, I think that that this 100% takes place means. somewhere in New York. Could it be a state? Think, Could it be, you know? Well, it said NYC. Yeah, I well, yeah, but they're also in the middle. Of the The Badlands isn't. Re- I mean, that was a that's, city. No, but who knows? That's true. They who could knows have driven the car upstate how far, or across exactly, the country. Exactly. Like, we don't know, but exactly. Maybe we're it, reading too much into it. I don't know, but I, I don't I, think we're reading. I into think it you and I like to too think too much yeah. at all because, yeah, dude, <laughs> it was a city. That was a city block. Yeah, that was a city block. That was an alley. Mm-hmm. It was a building. There was a store there. It was like Frank's Hardware. Or it whatever said the hell Frank's it was Auto or Repair something. or something like yeah, Ray's something, Auto right? Repair or, or whatever. Yeah. So, so I that was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, oh, sh- okay, it that's wasn't, something it was we haven't really seen before. Now yeah. they're so they're sprinkling in more of the old world, which is great. Yeah, um, I, I love that stuff. The mirrors was awesome. That was yes, yeah, gr- very like you, very smart. See, this is and, and and smart. This could be a smart thing or just a thing that they overlooked. But I, yeah. I don't. I hope I don't think they're overlooking these things obviously it's a young crew Mm -hmm. getting decimated it takes sunny who's been a regent who's killed many people and knows and is smart to come in and be like well let's distract this guy hello like and knowing yeah and and initially knowing that there's only one guy where'd they figure that where'd they get those mirrors from mike (sighs) department store (laughs) that's what i'm saying i thought i thought thought they were in like a department store or something maybe they got that there anyway it yeah. doesn't matter because it was dope. Yeah, and he at one point he's like, "How do you know it's one?" He's like, "He's like arrow trajectory." Yeah. Meanwhile, when he when Beiji, first of all, Beiji's line was like, "See, nobody likes those hats." You know what yeah. I mean? Throws the hat, the, it gets shot from different directions, and then now all of a sudden, like, I was like, "All right, a little bit," but I mean, definitely cool shot. But I yeah. mean, um, dude, that that um, that Clippers uh, uh, crossbow, that automatic crossbow was dope man yeah it was the, the way he the just scenes, reloads yeah. it and stuff like that yeah. was cool man the they, shots they, and they everything. really get like, some cool it was like stuff. bicycle gears yeah he like geared it, it up right? and, it, and it like it popped him into place and and then he'd be like and then he, and yeah. he's got the night vision bloop, pops it on because i was sitting there going why aren't they doing this at night yeah you know and sonny's like yo i'm gonna I'm just take this bow and arrow out i'll be right back guys you know and like right, this this is what i first he said you know you always you're always best on your first weapon first or weapon something you like that on. yeah so and he and so yeah, that with the flame arrows, like dude, that was that was just sick. That was really oh, cool. Oh, it was dope. Yeah, how, it was dope. And then he and parkours his way up there, and it, mm-hmm. again, just a mm-hmm. kid, right? Yeah. And um, you know, the fight scene was awesome. They pulled out that that drop the knife and grab it. You know, like that was cool. That was I cool. like that move. Yeah. You know, I mean that they, they did it. Uh, they did it in the Last Jedi. Just the, and like, just the trip wires and everything too, and how Sonny used them against the kid. And like you had said uh, before, uh, before we recorded with the video game shooting the very video game like know, at this the, point. <laughs> the, the extinguisher. extinguisher yeah. yeah. So uses the extinguisher, and then a few moments later uses an environmental kill, and uses the trap against them. So mm-hmm. dope. I was like, mm-hmm. that's great. And he has mercy for the kid. Well, that's the thing because he doesn't want to kill. Like he doesn't want to kill anymore. And then this dumb kid mm-hmm. comes along and kills him. And and this is another yeah. scene that I'm like, ooh, they're just going for it. Like he's yeah. just holding him in his arms while he dies. And and he says to him, he's like, no, you're good, you're good, you're good, yeah. you're good. And I was like, dang man, like that's just well, cool, man. It's just it, I just enjoy those are good scenes. Those are those are like the action's great, and it's like it's written. Whether you like what's happening or not, it's written well. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I, it's... And, and, you know, I agree. And it's also a very ballsy move for that for that kid to actually do that after Sonny's order. You know, which is, he's which very is hilarious lucky. because he's telling everybody he's the regent. Yeah. And then later on, we get you know uh, the supply truck rolls up and Moon. First of all, perfect mm. car to give Moon. Right. Has a, he's got a dope ride, <laughs> right? And he pops yeah. up and he's like, I'm not the, he's like, he's like, I'm the region. Who's it? And he, and the guy almost said, yeah. he almost, he almost said, I guess he wanted to say like the Asian guy or something. Right. I know. I he almost <laughs> said it. Uh, it would be politically correct to say the Asian guy, but, um, you know, so, uh, and he's like, yeah, he's got the sword on him. And of course, you know, moon's like, mm-hmm. yeah, son, I got you. So, yeah. um, going back to, to let's go to Beji real quick because, this yeah, showing show some more skills, man. So, I mean, we knew. Did we know this? Did we know this? I don't remember. It's I don't a lot, remember dude. if it's we... a lot to remember. So, I don't remember if we knew he had this healing power. I, I believe he we, did I say something. We did. Yeah, I want to say we did. And he does this thing. Yes, yes, yes. I think we did know. But now we get we see that he's able to. Yeah, we we did know. But we're able to see that he's like you know. 
So this chick is like, I'm going to be dead. Like, I'm just, whatever. I'm going to back to sleep. I'm, 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 it's over, yeah. you know. He doesn't lie to her or whatever. And he's like, yo, cut her leg. I'll, I'll keep her alive. And I knew, I knew it. I knew she was going to wake up and be pissed. I knew it. You know what? I was, we, we kind of went back and forth about this already. But uh, I'm thinking Baji's. Yeah. No, I'm thinking Baji's love interest. I'm, I'm thinking oh, that. Oh, um, I'm, I mean, dude. You know, before they went out to the alley, the sniper alley, he's like, "Oh, she's a feisty little one. She's a feisty minx, and all this kind yeah. of stuff." And why? Why would he single her out? Why would well, he choose? Right. To, I. I thought to why have was the, any interest in this in this character? Yeah, I thought why Unless, why the whole you know? thing? Right, I thought why the whole thing? Why couldn't why wouldn't he have brought her back to them and then just went right back out again? Exactly, right? he like, stood he stood with her. He was, you know what I mean. And um, it's it, listen, would it be cool to see Baji having a little a little piece, of, you know, around? And she didn't die. She didn't die. There's she didn't a reason die. For I mean, it. yeah. I mean, look, I don't disagree. I mean, it's yeah. it's something. Do do we need it? Do we need it for the character? I mean, there's not a lot of love stuff. Let's really. see where she goes. Let's see where she goes. Let's see what happens. Listen, you still have a former Clipper in Sonny with a child. Mm -hmm. Can he ever truly get, like, get out of that place to where he could be safe and yeah, and to try. where he used to have those visions of having that place with Vale and Sonny and the nice little cabin and all Scott? Can he really get to that, or is he gonna need someone? That's going to be a nanny to him. Could she play that kind of a role eventually? She's going to be back regardless. And we can theorize all, all day, I'm sure, to to uh, a possibility for her. But I can see something like that happening to her. And it just gave me that Baji love. Let's give Baji right, a friend. We'll see what happens. What I want to know about yeah. about uh, Baji. First of all, everyone says, he even says his name. Everyone still says his name different. Baji. Sonny calls him Baji. He calls himself Beji. Whatever. I want to hey, know. Tomato, Mike, tomato. Tomato, you know? tomato. Right. What I want to know is, <laughs> yeah. is using that power draining his life force? Or, or you know, is it, it – because when when they use the dark he, power, it drains too, their lives. But I don't think that is. That he's too power, selfish to do that to, for to, a stranger. Right. Because he immediately did that. Yeah. That's why, yeah, no, I don't. Th I think there's, I think there's, um, I think there's something to to still having the ability to use that that healing, not healing, because uh, that pain. He's like a Tylenol in his fingertips Basically, or yeah. something. Yeah. So it's um, Damn, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> What's that? We talked a lot about Beji. Well, I mean, it's interesting. It's yeah. interesting. Um, you know, and and obviously, uh, the more we talk, the more you kind of get I these ideas, but. Yeah, I wonder if if why does he just have this power? Can he harness his gift again? Well, he said he lost it, so we'll see. Maybe I I have a feeling, Mikey, that when we get to the to the that witch, yeah, he he's gonna know her, and they're gonna they're gonna find something. Uh, yeah. Let's start ra wrapping it up Interesting stuff. Here. Yep. Um, just one funny thing I wanted to mention was when they get out there, um, Sonny brings his hand up to his eye. All right, and does this little thing, and I thought he had like a spyglass in his hand or something, but he didn't. He was just like, he was blocking out all the light so he could see the glint. But it was, I, I thought that was kind of funny. I'm like, oh, dude, he's got a thing. Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> it's just, it was just a cool little thing. I was like, oh shit. Well, he better keep running because he has Moon that's gonna be after him pretty uh, soon. Yeah, it's gonna get. It's gonna get. We're going back to Pilgrim next episode. So um, yeah, but um. Nah, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's it's good. I, I, I enjoyed this episode. Like I said, there were a few a few little things that, that I, I didn't agree with, but hell, I'm not the one writing or creating the show. I'm just a, I'm just an idiot watching it. But <laughs> it's still hey, an man, awesome show. It's still an awesome show. Good I mean, stuff. You... Everything we made I'm I like how every episode we're finding out new things. Oh, another thing I, I, since talking about uh Beji, he mentions to the nurse lady, he's like, I don't I don't he's like, I don't like needles, it's a childhood thing. Because remember, yeah. remember what they did to them? They put those needles in them. Remember, they would strap oh, yeah. the kids down the abbots yeah. and put those needles in them. Yeah. Yep. So I think that's what happened. I yeah. think that's how he got his powers drained. So yeah. Well, that's how that's how the one guy got them taken away. So, yep. uh, MK's buddy or whatever. Yeah. When he so was that's at the... so that's a cool little throwback if if people yeah. are paying attention. All right. Yeah. Um, 
All right, Mikey, I think that's it. That's a show. That's an episode. Um, right, right below in the comments, let us know what you guys thought, obviously, at YouTube, uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, check us out, Third Person Pod, on Facebook and on Instagram. And don't forget to have a listen to us on iTunes, if you wish. Dang right. Thank you, everybody, who do comment. Yes. We love it. We love all those those theories and, and responses and, and correcting us. That's great. We love it. Everybody who yes. watches, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. And tell somebody about, not tell them about our show. Yeah, come watch us. But tell them about Into the Badlands. Let's get this, you know, let's get it big, big, big. Let's make it as big as The Walking Dead because, I mean. It's nearly there, right? It's fantastic. <laughs> this is such a fun show. It's such a unique show. Yeah. Um, you know, so let's do it. Let's get it out there. Let's put it yes, out there. Yes, sir. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next episode for Into the Badlands. Peace.